What is shaking, Internet? This is Salt's bringing you some more Rise to Masters! Yeah! Last we left, we have one star gold, and we are going for two star gold, maybe three star gold in this video. Let's see what we can do. I'm using my custom warrior deck. I've had a lot of fun with my custom warrior deck. I've been trying custom builds just as it comes, mostly like during during um, the quest. Like they give you a quest saying, go beat somebody as a priest. And I'm like, oh sure, why not? I'll go build a priest deck. And I built a priest deck and tried it out. Uh, that's why I could, got a druid thing out there. I still have not played much. Um, let's see, I haven't played much warlock. I haven't played much. Ooh, this is a terrible opening hand. Um, let's go ahead and drop both those those bad boys. So I haven't played much Warlock. I haven't played much Rogue. I haven't played much... I don't know. It feels like I haven't played much a lot of things. So, do I want to use the Elven Archer or do I want to save it? I think I want to save it. I think I want to save it. I like having that one little bonus damage in case he puts down something that has one health. Always nice. Since I'm not a mage... That's good. Oh, there you go. See, now I can uh, ping it, and I get one a uh, one-one minion out there. Perfect. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right. Did I go turn? Did I go first? Yeah, I did. Okay, so he dropped that. It feels like I can drop more things, but then he would be able to trade it with that. So let's just What's drop that? it. There you go. Perfect. So yeah, I, I don't want to play the mark. I'm more like Tide Hunter, obviously, because then he can run his boar into one of them, and I'll lose it, and it be like, I only got half a card out of that. And he did one damage to me, so he kind of won that whole-handedly. Whole-handedly? Is that even a word? What am I saying? Okay, um... So I want to put this guy down, and that way next turn I can bust out all kinds of good stuff. So let's go ahead and put him down. Attack directly, and in turn. Um, I'm expecting him to kill this and then arcane shot it probably. Could explosive shot? No, he couldn't. He doesn't have enough mana, but he doesn't have have enough mana for arcane shot. Oh, animal companion, not the boar, not the boar. Oh, okay. Well, there you go then. That trades pretty nicely, but then I can trade that luckily. Still, it's kind of annoying because now um, he has a two four. That's pretty buffed out there. I can do two damage to two random enemies. But it's still not enough. What I want to do is I want to put out these big guys, or uh, at least some of these guys, so that next turn I can put out the Frostwolf Warlord. Let's go ahead and trade that. I definitely want to trade that. I think I want to put this guy out. I could put the bigger one out, and that won't die immediately to that. So let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, bigger guy. Let's see, what did I get out of that? Stormwind. Okay, Stormwind Champ. Not bad. Um, still way, many, many, many turns away from that. But luckily I do have cleave, so if he drops something with two health, or he can kill command. That works. Dang it. Freaking kill command. Oh, and tracking. A golden tracking. Look at all that. Look at that animation. That sweet animation. What? Tracking didn't even show up? Oh, it's because he hasn't used it. There it is. Look at that beautiful little animation there. Good stuff. Okay, so here's a war song commander. That's lovely. Blub, 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 lovely. Let's see, I can do... Oh, man. This is a tough one. I can throw down both of those, which wouldn't be too bad. I wonder. Oh, if I throw this down, he's just going to kill it. Actually, he can't kill it, but he could arcane shot it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, I don't know. Toss it down. Yes, let's do it. Let's go for it. We can immediately get the charge out of it anyway. So yeah, he can't kill it unless he has an arcane shot or um I don't really know what he could have. What else he could have? Oh, or, oh, 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 what is it? Explosive shot? Oh. Well, that's fun. Thanks. So he's gonna kill that. Oh, okay, so that's good. That's actually very good. Now I can cleave. I have six mana. What can I do with six men? I can bust these guys out. And that actually trades pretty well with that guy. That trades well with that. But then I have this ginormous 7-6 out that uh, is going to kill my guy immediately. I could put the Arcanite Reaper out, no. which is not a bad call. Destroy this minion and draw three cards. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Oh, man. Tough call. Okay, so I can trade this. Then I can do two damage. Then I can 
What cast now? this and do three damage, which is not enough. Shoot. What does this turn into? A 6-6? Six, six? I might just trade that. Yep. The frost wolves stand ready. It's a big enough thing. Charge. Charge. There you go. I don't know if that was a perfect trade, but next turn I can bust out the uh, Storm and Champion, which will buff him up a little bit. And I can bust out... Well, I can't do both, but I can do both, either this or this, which is pretty awesome. But what does he have? Okay, so he busts it out. Now it's a 4-5. Okay. I have 7 mana. I can use this to draw a card, or I could just put the Arcanite Reaper down, which is not a bad idea. Uh, problem is, I can't do the arc. Well, shoot. Shoot! If I use this, I can do three damage to that. I'll, I'll lose the entire card, so basically it's a, it's a waste of a card. I can use this, and that's not enough to kill everything. Dang it. I'm so, I'm so frustrated with this choice now. I can do both. I can do both. But I can't do all three. I think I'm gonna just. Oh, that was interesting. I love how that works out. Okay, so now I've got some charge. Um, I have to charge the entire freaking thing to get it, though. And none of this. Is... Oh, this was terrible. Why did I do this? Why am I so stupid that I did this? Now he's gonna trade this for pretty much anything. I'm an idiot. I'll just hold off. I'll hold off because I'm a moron. Okay, I probably just lost the game there because I'm an idiot. Next turn, I can shield block and I can Arcanite Reaper, which can kill that. Oh, great. Here comes the boar. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that works too. Well, Cleave is, Cleave is definitely an option now. Okay, so he's definitely going to trade that and that. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, Raid Leader. Raid Leader's a good one. Raid Leader comes out. That trades handily. This trades handily. And I can cl Arcanite Reaper. I can Arcanite Reaper and uh, kill that guy. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Okay, so I'm not a... I haven't totally lost yet, luckily. Go ahead and take this out. Take that out. And there we go. Now the raid leader, raid, he's going to trade that for the raid leader, which kind of sucks, but I have cleared the board, and uh, we we both had the same amount of cards. I'm going to have a card advantage in a second. Oh, God. Grr. Don't mess with Tusker. So that's going to trade very fast, and of course that gets charged too, so great. Great. Okay, so I'm going to shield block here. I do have a Stormwind Champion. Actually, I have a Stormwind Champion and a Cleave, so let's go ahead and Cleave first. Oh, really? Oops. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay, so I can I can armor up. Let's shield block and see what we get. That's kind of not nice, sort of. Oh, dang it. Sucks that he's going to trade two things for that. <sighs> I know, I probably should use Arcanite Reaper there. I'm I'm so in trouble. I'm so in trouble. Yep, there's, a, there's another charge, and that just buffs everything up. Oh, great. Am I dead? No, he's not going to kill me, but he can kill me with one thing now. So that's going to trade very handily. Hooray. There we go, there we go, there's the trade. And then he's gonna attack me for two, attack me for three, attack me for one, attack me for two. Okay, okay. So now I can kill this next turn. There's that. Okay, so he has everything on the field. There's nothing I can do to... I, I don't have Whirlwind. Is Whirlwind? Is that it? Is that enough to kill me? 
six, eight, yeah. Okay, that's okay, dead. Okay. Well played. Well played. Yep, you got me. I mean, I played that so poorly. That's all my fault. All my fault there. Poor Tesla. Poor Tesla. He did it, poor Tesla. Okay, so that was that was really bad. I apologize for that. Let's uh, let's see if we can get our head in the game. I'm gonna try again with the custom warrior. I, I think it's pretty sound deck. We'll see. I am still using pretty much all the basic cards. Nothing nothing fancy in here. Um, I don't remember if I put anything fancy in here. I need to build a custom rogue deck. That's what I need to do because I want to try out rogue, and I think I have enough. I got some Defias ringleaders. I think we got some cool cards in there, and I think it would be really cool to throw out some more uh, rogue rogue decks. I've never I've never really tried rogue. You know, they they got beaten up so bad from the previous patch, so it's like, yeah, I don't know. But I don't have a lot of good cards for the battle for the warrior either, you know, like battle rage. Battle rage is a really good card for warriors and I don't have it. So, hmm. Let's see. I could pull this out next on the last turn. Execute. I probably don't want to execute this early. It is a really nice destroy, but I don't need it this early. Frostwolf, oh shoot, I'm probably taking all the wrong cards here, but uh, I want a little bit lower cost, and executes not what I need. This is not really what I needed either. All right, well, so much for that idea. Well, he's ready to play something. <laughs> okay, so the North Star Cleric is already out. I feel like this game is already in shambles. Okay, so next turn I can coin into Someone the Warsong Commander. Which isn't the worst play in the world. Or I could coin into Shield Block. Shield Block might be better. Or I could save it for the Sinjin Shield Master. I think I'm going to save the coin for the Sinjin Shield Master and just armor up. So that'll trade for this, and then I get one damage there. It's okay, I got this. So next turn, I'm gonna coin and get uh, the Sinjin out there. I am master of magics. I'm happy with the Sinjin. He pre pretty much trades very well with everything on the board at the moment. So there we go. And I have another Warsong Commander. Not bad. Okay. So now I can put the Arcanite Reaper out. In case he uh, buffs that up, I can use the Arcanite Reaper. Well, I can't use it for another turn. Next turn will be the Dragonling Mechanic. I could potentially put out another one of these if he gets crazy. Ooh, six damage. He's already doing lots of damage to me. Oh, huh. that's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Northshire Cleric then. No problems there. Okay, so let's see. I have four mana. I could probably... I probably should put this guy out. Probably should put that out, yeah. Let's trade it. Take that any day of the week. That's a great trade. I only got one damage there, and now he pretty much can't do anything. Let's see. What is he going to do? Spell Holy Nova. That's going to suck. Okay, so I'm down to uh, one thing there, one thing there. There you go. I'm going to kill that, and then... Oh, go straight for me. Oh, he likes to keep... He wants to keep this around. I get it. I get it. Okay, so here's the here's the deal. I could play this War Song Commander, but then I can't play anything to follow up. What the I'd like to do. Oh, greetings. <laughs> greetings. <laughs> I can't cleave. I think Arcanite Reaper. Arcanite Reaper and kill that. Yeah, that's a great move. <laughs> Okay, so he's definitely got a huge health advantage at the moment, but that's not a big deal. I can I can handle a huge health advantage because I got shield block in my hand, which is basically like five heal five and draw a card. What are we gonna pull out? What you gonna play? I'm waiting for like a Murloc Tide Hunter. That would be awesome because I can cleave it. Okay. In the light's name. Oh, that sucks. Both of those are really crappy cards. Okay, so... Arcanite Reaper can pretty handily deal with that. Then I can kill it. Then whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. I gotta do something about that guy. This turn, I can kill it. <laughs> with that and uh, and Raid Leader. Which is not bad. That's That's not a terrible trade, actually. 
So here's the here's the play. Hit it with the Arcanite Reaper. Hit it with the Dragon Mechanic. Now I've got six mana. That means I can put out the charge guy, and then raid leader, and raid leader will be able to take care of that guy. Hit it very hard. Boom. Done. Now he has not a lot of cards, and he's got a lot of trouble. Uh, next turn, I can Stormwind Commander, which, oh, so good. What is he doing? What is he doing? Shadow Warp. Dang it! Really? He did it on that? Okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So now I can do this and then Sinjin, which is also just as, just as awesome. Okay, let's see. Is there a better play with the Elven Archer? Not really. So Sinjin will take out this guy handily. Take that. There you go. Okay. So now he has two cards in his hand. One of them is probably a mind control. And he's probably going to take this guy. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so he heals himself back up to full. Great. And does five damage to me. Crap. I don't like this guy. He, I mean, that's his second Mind Blast, though, so that's good. And, ooh, I like that. So, actually, I can trade this pretty nice. Actually, I can trade that. Uh, I can trade anything for his stupid little gold, gold star guy. So, let's go ahead and toss this out. Then I'll toss this out. Then I'll toss the, the, the archer out. Next turn, I'll have the Stormwind Champion and two for uh, something else. So let's go ahead and toss this out first. Then that. Frostful Forelord. Hmm. Probably should have done the shield block first. Oh well, next turn I can pop that pretty easily. Uh, let's see, this doesn't die if I trade with it. Neither does this. But I want to keep that kind of high health, especially if he's got something like a Holy Smite. So let's go ahead and trade this real quick. And a bunch of damage, bunch of damage, bunch of damage, bunch of damage. And do we want to play the elf? Yeah, we do. Alright. Well, I guess uh, em Emmers, Emmers didn't like that game. So did I uh, Did I move up? Nope. Um, I'm still still one star gold. Alright, let's play one more game and see if we can get to two star gold. That was a really good game. I thought we were going to lose there, but I think that he played pretty poorly, actually. He got all of his cards out real quick, and... I don't know. It just... Something... Something seemed weird. Like, why did he play thing? I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Mega. Mega the rogue. Watch my back. You got it, buddy. All right. Extra card. I'm going to hold on to the Frost Wolf this time. Oh, I can't hold on to both. I cannot hold on to both. But this is such good clear. But it's a rogue, so I don't want to be doing damage to myself if I can avoid it. This is a great card, so I'm going to hold on to that. That's giving me removal, give me a, a, a minions, and give me a big guy. And an even bigger guy, which I'm probably not going to make it to. <laughs> I'll probably die within three rounds. Let's see. Okay, turn one. What's the rogue got? The rogue's got... Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Okay. So what's the play? I can cleave? No, I can't. I'm not going to cleave. All right. I'll say greetings, because the, that's the nice thing. Greetings. You should always say, always be nice. Those are the kindergarten rules. You say, it's, uh, it's be nice, it's uh, don't hit, don't run with scissors. Those are kindergarten rules. Okay, so he's already putting the aggression on me. Oh, I'm scared. I'm a little scared now. Uh, let's see, what can I pull out? I can pull out shield block. If I coin, but I don't want to waste a coin on shield block when I could be wasting a coin on this or this or this or something else. So let's go ahead and shield armor up and done. I almost want to just play. Every time he hits me with his dagger, I'll be like, thanks, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, that could be such a jerk. Cost one less per attack of your weapon. Nice. So a 3 3 taunt comes out. Pretty good. Pretty decent. I guess that's pretty decent. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I kind of want to put this guy out. Coin into this. Then next turn do this. Then next turn do that. It's not a good idea to plan that many turns ahead. But this guy trades pretty well with that. So that's that's the plan. That is the plan. 
So you can attack me, feel free. And we'll see what else we have here. Now he can he can easily um dagger up and kill this, which is probably in my opinion, that's what would be a good uh, good idea. Daggering up, killing this, taking two damage, then I can't bust through his taunt wall. But I'm hoping you put some mouth down so I can cleave so it. Put some mouth. Put like a, a magma rager. That's a great idea. Like a five one, something with one health. I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, that would definitely be a good idea. Mega. Mega's a good name. Mega the rogue. That's a mega rogue. What's he got? Fan of knives. Okay, so he's going to take that guy out. <laughs> Seems a little early to use fan of knives, in my opinion. But hey, you know what else? So now it takes him down to one health. I like that. What can I do? I can't kill him. Dang it. Uh, I guess I'll pop this guy. Job's done. Here we go. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Okay, so I got five mana next turn. What can I do? I can shield block and then I can tide hunter. What's he gonna do? I can take this guy out next turn. If he puts something else down, I can cleave it. Now he has five mana, so if he puts something else down, it's probably gonna be something big and scary and mean. So mm -hmm. I kind of hope he doesn't put anything else down. But I, I want him to put like one thing down. That'd be great. That'd be really great. What's he doing? Shiv. Okay, so he's shivin'. And then he's gonna trade it. He's, like that guy hasn't attacked me yet, so I'm I'm more than happy for him to kill that. Granted, he's gotten two cards worth out of that already. Yep. Yeah, okay. So he got two cards out of that. Not bad at all. Perdition's blade deal one, deal two damage. Okay. So he dealt two damage to me, and he's gonna attack for two. There you go. Where's my acidic swamp ooze? Dang it. I need my acidic swamp ooze. Okay. Problem is, I'm up against a rogue with 30 life that has done pretty much nothing so far. Ooh, that's a good play. Okay. Um, I actually want to put the Tide Hunter out because he can trade with the Tide Hunter and he can use his weapon, but then it doesn't do nearly as much. So let's go ahead and armor up, or shield block, or whatever that's called. Well, that works. And then Tide Hunter. So now, he can trade for him, and if he doesn't trade for him, the next turn, I can pop the Elven Archer and the Frost Wolf Warlord. That's perfect. So that, that'll give me a 7-7, seven, seven, I think. Yeah, 7-7. Seven, seven. So if he doesn't kill anything, he gets a 7-7. Seven, seven. He might have another fan of knives, and this would not be a terrible time to use it. But I'm expecting him to use that Perdition's Blade. But the problem is, like I said, he doesn't have good targets to use it on, so it's great. I haven't given him a lot of good targets because he's going to waste that damage if he does anything. Okay, okay, so he's got a 4-3 now. He's going to eviscerate me. And then he's probably going to attack me. He's got two mana. I would probably think that he's going to attack me and then dagger mastery to get another dagger. So that next turn he doesn't have to spend two mana. Oh, never mind. He's going to do something. I was thinking about it. Nope. Thinking about it. Oh, yeah, you're gonna do something. Backstab. Oh, that's terrible. What a waste of a backstab. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's see. What do we have to play here? I have two elven archers, which is awesome. I got two elven archers and that, and then I trade. Sounds pretty good to me. One shot. One. One shot. One. Boom. Okay, so I've got three things on the field. Yes, he can kill him with his dagger. And I expect him to. But next turn, I have seven mana. I can either pop the Stormwind Champion, or I can pop the uh, Frostwolf Warlord. If he pulls out some big things, I do have two cleaves in my hand, so I'm ready to cleave his minions. And... What is he doing? What is he doing? I'm scared. What is he doing? Backstab. Okay, so he's backstabbing, and then what? Fan of Niving? Probably a Fan of Knives, and then attack. Is what I would assume. Fan of knives. I got the best deals anyway. Okay. I don't. Why did he backstab that? Oh, deadly poison. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Well played. Well played. Like it. So now he can um, attack me, or he can attack that minion. I'm, I'm okay with either. Really, I want him to attack me so I can get a bigger 
Frost Wolf Warlord. Yep, the Frost Wolf Warlord's coming out tonight. So let's first do the Frost Wolf Warlord. Then I have two mana left. I can probably armor up. That's what I'd like to do. Then I can trade every single one of these for um, his gadgets on. And then I have a 7-7 seven, seven that I can then buff up next turn. And I can put behind a taunt wall. I can put behind both taunts, in fact, next turn. Um, or, or should I put down the Sinjin Shield Master and the battle and the boar? Would that be a better play? I think it might. I think it would. Now what that does is that gives me a ton of minions. Next turn, if I put down if I put down the Frost Wolf, it becomes a what a nine nine a ten ten. Yeah, it actually becomes a 10-10. He can kill uh, my shield, shield master pretty handily, though. Okay, so now it's a 5-3. He's got a 5-3. I'm, I'm not scared, though. I can handily trade most of his stuff. Oh, fan of knives! No! Okay, so I'm down. I knew I, I should have played the Frost Wolf last time. Dang it. Because then Gadget Zone would be dead, too. Okay, so now I've got three minions. And he's... Do your destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. Okay. Well, now I'm in trouble. And now I'm totally useless. Great. Okay. So, ooh, Corcoran Elite. Corcoran Elite comes out. What can I do with Corcoran Elite? Not a whole lot. I can cleave, which I absolutely should be cleaving. <sighs> that was a bad play. That was a very bad misplay by me. Should I cleave? Absolutely, I should cleave. I should cleave, then I should taunt, then I should armor up. <laughs> he got way too much value out of that uh, Gadget Sun Auctioneer. He got like three or four card draws. And he killed uh, my taunt. It's really bad. So this one he can trade, and he should. Now he's probably going to Dagger Mastery? No, he has nine mana. He has plenty of things he could probably do. Azure Drake. Okay. Now, what is he doing? Giving plus... Uh, is it the plus three, plus three, or whatever it is? Okay, there's the Defias Ringleader. Yeah, beat it. Do five damage to me. That sucks. Okay, so Corcoran Elite is available. Ooh, and Arcanite Reaper. So I'm kind of thinking a Cleave, which would bring me down to seven mana. Let's see what the Cleave hits. And then... I'm hoping it'll hit these two. If, wait, I, wanna, I, I can charge and kill it, and then I can cleave. And that leaves me with three mana. Yeah. I'm, I'm not in a good position here, but I can, I can survive. I'm not in a terrible position. Next turn, I can Arcanite Reaper and Frostwolf, but Frostwolfing all by itself is just a terrible move. So what I'd like to do instead is do the Stormwind Champion. Let's hope I draw something really good. Let's hope I draw a really good minion card. Like, a, I, I would even take one of the gnomes so I could draw another card. That would be a really good card for me right now. I'm assuming he has a lot of minion removal. Oh, there we go. So now Arcanite Reaper is definitely coming out. And that sucks. Let's hope I draw the other charge guy. Corcoran Elite. No such luck. <sighs> okay. I can kill that. I'll take three. No, I won't. Um, this is, this is a terrible... I'm stuck between a terrible choice and a terrible choice. I, I have to do it. I have to kill it. So there we go. Pop that up. He can attack me, and he can do 5 damage to me directly, and he's got spell damage, which sucks even more, because that means that it's going to just kill me fast. I'm sure he's got another Eviscerate in his hand, so he's doing 5 damage if he combos it, but he doesn't, maybe he can't combo it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping beyond hope. This is not looking good. This is not looking so good at all. Options. He can do 4, and then when I attack it, I'm going to do 4 myself, so it's just so bad. I'm in so much trouble. All my cleaves are gone. I still have not gotten my um, either of my Warsong Commanders. If I get a Warsong Commander, that's going to be awesome. Because then I can pop it and the Stormwind Champion. 
Oh god. <laughs> He's got sprint. <laughs> well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, he's gonna attack me, attack, and then uh, dagger up. That makes perfect sense. So he's gonna do five damage to me, bring me down to eleven. He's got a ridiculous amounts of cards in my hand. Oh, great, that's fun. So now he's gonna attack for two. So now I'm at eight. I am in severe, severe trouble. Okay, so that he can do five damage to me next turn. What can I do? What can I do? I can kill him, which takes me down to four, which is with well within eviscerate range. I can then drop a raid leader, drop a frostwolf warlord, which is really freaking close to being dead. But it's about as good as I'm gonna get because I have to. I have to armor up. I absolutely have to armor up. So I'm at six. He can kill me if he has an eviscerate in his hand, which he probably does. I'm probably dead. I'm ready to say well played. Get get prepared. Get prepared for the well played. Because if he has anything that can combo with Eviscerate in his hand, I'm dead. I think Eviscerate does four damage. If he has a head crack or something like that, so then I'm dead. Options. If he's taking this long, I'm assuming he can't kill me, but I could be wrong. Yep, there's an Assassinate. That sucks. Yeah. And well played. He's hovering over, over his guy. Oh, I don't get it. I don't know what he's thinking of. He's, he's trying to figure out how he can kill me in this so turn. He's thinking of all the different things he can do. <laughs> if I can last till, if he doesn't attack me, then I can armor up again. And that's that's always nice. What is he doing? I guess he ha does have six cards in his hand, so he does have quite a bit of options. I guess oh, there he goes. Attack me. What's he doing? What is he doing? Okay, there's the Twilight Drake, which absolutely sucks. I'm dead. I am dead. Unless I can kill that thing, and it doesn't look like I can kill that thing. I can armor up, which is my only option. I absolutely have to armor up. If I don't, I die. Okay, the Twilight Drake cannot kill me. He can dagger if he does one damage. If, he, if any of his cards do one damage to me, it's good game. There's another assassinate. Yep. Okay. Here's hoping. Uh oh. Well. well there you go. He had an assassin's blade. Alright. So that's it for that game. Let's see. I'm assuming I don't go up if I lose. I didn't. I clicked that too fast. Oh well. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm still at one star. Let's do. Let's do one more. We can do it. We can do it, guys. I have a feeling we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to two star gold. Um. In that game, let's see. What did I do wrong? Um. I can think of a couple times where I was. I. I was failing miserably, especially early. Early on, late game, I was kind of just holding on. I'm good at holding on, <laughs> but I, I shouldn't be in that situation to begin with. So it's my fault. Let's let's see what else I can fail at. Okay, Wraith. Wraith the Warrior. Garrosh versus Garrosh. Who is the better Garrosh? I am absolutely holding on to everything in my hand. Yes. I'm gonna hold on to the execute even. Probably not for a turn one play, but you know. Something along those lines. So turn two. Turn two, I pop that. Absolutely. Say greetings. Greetings. Always have to keep up your manners. It's very important. So turn one, I can pop it for that. I don't want to do that. Turn two, I think I'm gonna do that. If he if he pulls something out, okay. So he pulled out a charge. That's not good. Don't like that. 
I don't like that. Where's my elven archer when I need it? Dang it. Okay. Now, I kind of want to hold off. Because... No, 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 no. It, if, I, if I play this, he can charge into it and maybe kill it even next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do is pull this guy out. Okay. So either of these trade well with his uh, with his Murloc. I'm happy with that. He could have a cleave. Nope, he has a fiery war axe, which I guess he's probably going to charge directly at me. Nope, he wants to go for the removal. Okay, that's good. I'm fine with that. Okay. Is he going to trade Murloc for Murloc now? Huh. It's kind of interesting in my opinion. But okay. Now, I can play this now, but he can kill it immediately with his uh, with his Fire War Axe. So that means, time to play the taunt. <laughs> Now he can trade his charge and that for the taunt, and I'm okay with that. Because what that means is that he has to trade both of them to kill my taunt. And once he kills my taunt, then next turn I'll have four mana, and I can either pull out this guy, or I can do nothing. <laughs> nice thing is I have this Murloc, so if he pulls out a big nasty guy, I can Murloc and then execute. So I'm, I'm okay with that. That's a pretty decent trade. He's got four mana in his hand. What is he going to do? Okay, he's going to pull out another charge. So, there you go. And then the Arcanite Reaper. And then he could trade Murloc for Murloc if he wants. I don't know if he's going to or not. So far, he's done more damage to himself than I have. <laughs> no complaints here. Um, I'm gonna think, I think I'm going to trade Murloc for Murloc here because I don't want that thing around anymore. And I've got more than enough stuff on the field at this point. I'd rather get rid of the, his Murloc. Now, Mr. Bitey can come along. Mr. Bitey can uh, hit somebody and I can execute him if he pulls out something like a Gurubashi Berserker. Or something, which he can do this turn. So let's see what he pulls out on turn 5. Korkron Elite. That's going to trade or not. Okay. I don't understand this guy. I kind of understand this guy. Okay, so Mr. Bitey can attack. That's not gonna, um... It's not gonna kill him very good, though. What I need is somebody with charge, but I'm not willing to trade this guy. Now, what I can do... I wonder... I do wonder. I wah 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 wonder. Okay, so I can do this and then attack, and that brings me down to 18. Then I can attack him for 4. Uh, that's assuming I play the Arcanite Reaper, which I kind of want to do. It's kind of a waste on this 3, but I mean, I I don't want to waste an Execute on it. That would be even worse. Especially if it's only got to have 1 health. But I don't want to lose everything to it, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm an idiot. I can't do that. So... I guess we'll just attack and pretend this never happened. Yes. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just do it. Dang it, I'm an idiot. Now he's going to do four damage to me. Bring me down to 18. Okay, so next turn. What's the play next turn? The gates are open. Okay. That, that is what I was looking for. Oh, and he has given it charge. That sucks. That's 10 damage directly to me. So I'm at 12. Awesome. Okay, so here comes an execute. <laughs> um, before I execute, though, I might want to cleave. Will that give me anything? Will that give me anything at all? Uh, no, I don't think it will, actually. So let's just go ahead and execute. Okay, I can cork on Elite. Two, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Put some pressure on him. I know that I'm really getting low here. Next turn, I can pop this and that. And just do crazy amounts of damage. I'm w willing to trade the Corcoran Elite at that point too. So depending on what he pulls out now. He has 7 mana so he can obviously pull out something big.
Uh oh. Does he have a second heroic strike? Oh. That brings me to one. I'm dead. Well, well I quit. <laughs> That's it for me tonight, guys. I'm I'm gonna toss this warrior deck to the side and never play it again. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm never gonna get the two star gold. Okay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you learned something from my terrible play. And uh, I promise next time we're gonna get the two star gold. I know it's gonna happen. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. We're going to get there. I might work on uh, maybe a custom druid. Let's look at the custom druid deck or something. But either way, let's go ahead and just stop the video for now because that's enough uh, heart heartbreak for tonight. <laughs> okay. You guys, please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz to this video to keep the series going. And as always, you keep it salty, internet.